Hello, people. Good morning. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. They're excellent. What? What's up, gamers? <laughs> What's up, Steam Deck fans? Oh. What? He hasn't put out anything today? Nothing? <laughs> Sitting here playing around here. What I got for you? All right. This 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 video is from it's for the ocean lovers, you know, you know the Sea of Thieves lovers, Songs of the Deep, Subnautica, yeah, Atlas, yeah, and for you skull and bone lovers. Ha! <laughs> What's up with it? See you messing with y'all. Okay, we talking about Subnautica this morning. Uh oh. Listen to this. We talking about Subnautica two. This game. Subnautica. Ha! <laughs> anyway. Listen to this. It says here, uh, Subnautica 2 sets to include multiplayer and enhance replayability. Mm. Replay value, huh? All right. It says the sequel to one of the best survival games ever, Subnautica 2, now looks to feature up to four-player co-op enhance replayability. Mm. All right. It says Subnautica 2 is already one of my most anticipated upcoming PC games so news that the sequel to the phenomenal underwater survival game and its follow-up Subnautica uh, Below Zero will feature the option for co-op multiplayer. Oh, let me turn this down for a little bit. It says here, let me keep going here. Uh, co-op uh, multiplayer uh, welcome. Along with these uh, new details is further uh, confirmation that our next adventure beneath the waves is planned to arrive in early access this year. Whoa! Uh-oh. Subnautica fans losing their minds here. It says, after an initial suggestion that we might not see it until 2025, Subnautica 2 follows up on from the beloved survival game from developer Unknown World Entertainment. First holding on to an overwhelmingly positive 96% Steam rating and over 233,000 uh, reviews while Frost, Frosty Sequel Below Zero also maintain a very respectable 91%. It says here, uh, user score. Now, thanks to a report from publisher uh, Crafton, best known for their work on PUBG's, but also... Uh, also publishing upcoming Sims uh, Revival uh, Enzoi and mobile version of Dark and Darker, we have a few more key details. Yeah, you Subnautica fans, don't lose your minds now. <laughs> says here, uh, uh, let me see if I can get this. Says here, uh, in the Crafton uh, fourth quarter earnings release for 2023 spotted by uh, Loadout, sport, uh, the Loadout, the publisher strategic title for 2024 includes a listing for Subnautica 2, which it describes as a multiplayer sequel to the original IP purchasing fandom uh, snowballing. And then it says here, uh, uh, it is certain true that the series has continued to grow in popularity over the years through word of mouth. Oh, oh, no, come on now, get that out of there. Uh, <laughs> can't, no, I don't want to do that. Stop it. Ah. Yes, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, pop-ups always get me. Anyway, it says here, uh, <laughs> let me start over. Said it's certain true that the series has continued to grow in popularity over the years through word of mouth. Its positive reception grew so strong that I even put aside my dislikes for deep waters in the games to sink into its depth and felt incredibly rewarded by its careful uh, pacing and sense of uh, perilous wonders. Under the additional uh, detail, Crafton notes that the new game will use Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, that will go good with the Steam Deck plus the HDR. Excellent. Anyway, it says, and list the options for either single player or co-op with up to four players total to uncover the mysteries of an entirely new alien planet. Interestingly, it it's also suggests that Subnautica 2 will use a game as a service model with enhanced replayability. Quite what 
quite what that will translate to is unclear, but but the first game, relatively a uh, predefined narrative-driven structure, did make it less suited to repeat uh, playthrough. And then it says here, uh, Subnautica 2 is currently expected to launch via early access in 2024. Then we'll be sure to keep it, keep you up to date on further detail as as we get them. In the meantime, be, be sure to browse the best Subnautica mods to spice up your spice up the original game, or browse more of the best crafting games to keep you busy. All right, got a video here of Subnautica. I will leave the link in the description box. Uh, let's see here what else. Then it shows the uh, strategic title. Uh, dark and darker, dark and darker. Enzoi, uh, what's this? Fuck it. Okay, here, here's a bigger picture. It says here, uh, shows the stri uh, strategic titles. Uh, dark and darker. Uh, Enzoi, uh, Dinkum, Black Budget, and uh, Subnautica 2. And um, these are the, uh, the the titles for 2024. So. Uh, 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 they're uh, they're going to be, be be busy for uh, for 2024. But Subnautica 2 early access. Let's see when is this coming? Uh, let's see here. When is it? When is this thing coming out? In uh, 20, oh, okay, 2024. Doesn't say a date on it. But uh, it's uh. It's coming, okay? Like I told you, the video game industry keeps moving. Yeah. So, uh, you, you ocean lovers, get ready. You already got skull and, skull and bones to deal with. And now you have Subnautica 2 in early access on the way. Of course, there's, st of course, there's still Subnautica, um, I mean, um, uh, there's the other Subnautica Plus. There's Atlas. There's Songs of the Deep, Deep, and there's Sea of Thieves that keeps getting updates. So, you ocean game lovers, you got your hands full in 2024. Yeah. So get your scuba gear ready to dive deep. <laughs> yeah, into the ocean. What's down there? We don't know. <laughs> so yeah, shoot. And they're gonna they're gonna have co-op, uh, co-op in this. Oh yeah, four-player co-op. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be good, and um, that means that means uh, four f four friends that play the game can play together, or play with four ran four random people online. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good you know, for, uh, for the uh, Subnautica uh, Subnautica uh, fan ba uh, fan base. No, let's see what it got. It has a. Uh, the first game was 96 per 90, 96 percent. The second game was 91, and, that's, and that was a user score. Yeah, so that means that the third one. I mean, this the, the new game now should should raise the bar from the previous from the uh, previous two. So yeah, and that's the challenge for the developers. So they um they got their hands full with this game, man. So yeah, like I told you guys who own the Steam Deck. Keep your storage in check. Remember? Yeah. I kept getting on you guys about keeping your storage up to date. Because up because updates are coming in like this. You got games coming in. You got games that are being sorted. That's adding to the 13,000 of games that you got to play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you got those uh, weekly weekend PC deals. And then you got your four seasons. Uh, uh, your four seasons. Actually, uh. Make that five now, since our Valve uh, put the Lunar Sale in it. So now you got the Spring Sale, Summer Sale, Autumn Sale, Winter Sale, and Lunar. Yeah. So uh, keep your storage in check on the Steam Deck. Games are being made, games are being developed. And um, you have to be ready for those games when they come out. Yeah. You know? So keep your, your updates are like this. Okay. And then you got the DLCs with the expansions. <laughs> oh yeah, keep your storage in check. 
So yeah, you Subnautica fans, get ready for the for this for for the new game. Okay, get your scuba gear ready. Yeah, your mind your mind should be in a ex exploration mode. You know, so yeah. They might put uh, uh, the megalodon in. The <laughs> they might they might put the megalodon in, in uh, Subnautica just to mess with you. <laughs> so you know, yeah. Um, you know, and these those these ocean games are really good. One game I would love to see them bring back is from Namco. Though. Um, it's um, uh, Treasures of the Deep. If they can if if they can do if they can uh, remake it. In today, in, for, in today's times of our game, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that game, that game will keep keep you busy too. Yeah, it was first, it was on the PlayStation, PlayStation One back in the day. Yep. So, uh, uh, I, I would I would look forward to that seeing that game. This article has a video. Let's see how long this video is. Let's see here. Oh, it's a video for some uh, gameplay trailer. Gameplay trailer. It's about one, about two minutes. All right. I'm gonna leave it in this. Leave the link in the description box. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. Go. Peace.